Greetings, soul family. It is with gratitude that I want to welcome you to Spirit Knox for Brooklyn Mosaic. As you know, my journey started with a knock. So here today, we are gonna talk about some necessary tools that you will need to begin this journey. So thus far, we've talked about knocking, the three S's, and tools that you're going to need on this journey is where we begin today. A really good pen, maybe a favorite pen of yours. You want to have a journal of some sort, right? I have a journal. And this one says, what will I do? I think it says, what I will do to feel the way I want to feel. I just love the words on it. But find something that moves you. I mean, you could go to your local, um, you know, I don't know, thrift shop. I don't want to advertise for anyone. Uh, wherever, whatever places you go to to get a good journal, someplace inexpensive, but something that you're going to hold near and dear. And you want to keep it by your bedside. So when you wake, you can write down the time. You can document your dreams. You can document a thought that might come into your head, right? This way you know how you should proceed um, when you review that and you make sure you're able to remember it because you document it. Because, you know, according to uh, psychologists and all these folks that study mental health, we have thousands and thousands of thoughts throughout the day. So who's going to remember something that might have happened once you went to sleep? There are a few people that are able to do that, but most people don't remember their dreams. Um, and there's a reason, because a certain part of your brain uh, lies dormant when you are sleeping. A certain part of your brain is active when you are awake. So it's a process. It's almost like hitting a light switch. And once that switch is hit, you don't remember what took place when your, brain, when your brain cells weren't active during that time. So I hope that makes sense to you. So like I said, have a favorite pen. I can tell you that my favorite pen that I started my first journal with was a pen that was given to me by my uncle, right? You, it lit up, like it had like a little light on it and it had a really smooth writing tip. Um, and it should be special to you because you are writing down words. And words are spells, and we're going to talk about that as well. Words are magical, and that's why we really have to be careful with how what we say and how we deliver it and how we receive it, right? Um, so we're going to talk more about that, um, and y'all can look forward to that. But like I said, have your tools. So your tools, just to review, a really good pen or pencil. Have your journal. Um and then look forward to documenting certain things in that journal, your dreams, your thoughts, things that cross your mind, the way you feel. And we're going to talk more about that as well. Um, as far as other tools that you might want, you might want to separate your dream journal from your actual uh, spiritual journey journal. Um, and I have, I'll be having a workbook for you all that would be on the site for you to be able to um, work through your process and document everything as a part of it. And uh, that, that book should be published soon. I'm working on it with my main group um, and you all are more than welcome. Get in touch if you're interested in joining us in the, uh, in the WhatsApp group uh, for the discussions that we have on developing our uh, our mental capacity, expanding ourselves from what we share with each other. Uh, we meet on Wednesdays and Fridays, and it's very early in the morning if you're on the East Coast. If you're on the wet, if you're in West Africa on the continent, then the hours are like 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. So you already got your little, um, you know, your booster on what you will need for this journey, writing tool, a journal to document. If you're an artist, um, be prepared to 
put what you're feeling down in words, in poetry, in stories. If you paint, be prepared to paint what you're seeing, what you're imagining. And I will leave you with those words. See you in the next video.